To complete our understanding of variables, we need to cover a few more helpful topics. We need to understand how IntelliText relates to variable types and what a constant is. When defining a variable using the DIM keyword, the IntelliText helper will pop up after typing the AS keyword with a structure that's nearly identical to the Objects helper. There is an icon and a name. Unlike the Object Helper window, this IntelliText window has three different types of icons. Let's look at an example. After typing in the AS keyword, a window has popped up with icons and a name. The first and simplest icon to understand is the single box with some blue highlighting in it. This icon indicates that the variable type is a basic type. These are the string types, the integer types, the boolean types, and other general types that do not function as an object. The second icon is a gray box with red, blue, and yellow boxes forming a triangle around the icon. This icon indicates that the variable type is an object type. Any variable type with this icon requires the use of the set keyword and will have its own IntelliText upon trying to enter the variable using the dot command. The third and final icon is a pair of yellow boxes that are semi-overlapping with each other. These are constants. Generally, these constants represent simple integers, however the constant types themselves have a list of predefined names that are intended to be easier to use than having to remember that, for example, the message box no button responds with a value of 7. Instead, you can check to see if the return value is equal to the VB message box result value of VB no. Each of these types of variables will respond a little differently to IntelliText once it's been created. Basic types, such as an integer, have no additional IntelliText support. If I type my variable equals, I get no additional help, and I cannot access a my variable with a dot command. If I dim my variable as a range, which is an object, typing my variable dot brings up a list of the methods and properties of that object, as we would expect. Dimming my variable as a VB message box result, which is a constant, gives me another set of options. My variable dot doesn't provide me with any information. The my variable as a VB message box result is technically a basic type. However, if I follow it with an equal sign, I get a list of potential constant values that have names that make sense based upon the intended use of the constant. As I mentioned that this is a basic type, each of these constant values simply hides some type of value behind it with a name. And we can figure out what that value is by looking at the immediate window. In the immediate window, I can ask VBA what the VB no value is with question mark VB no, and the answer to that is simply a 7. So if we wanted to, we could store the VB message box result in an integer variable, but then we'd have to memorize what number gets returned for each of the button types. Instead, by using a VB message box result constant, we can refer to the specific name that corresponds with the underlying number. IntelliText can help in choosing what types of variables are available while providing some information about each variable type. Additionally, using constants whenever possible can make code both faster to write and easier to read due to how they are used to convert numeric values that would otherwise require memorization or lookup into understandable words. If this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button to get similar videos every week. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, new videos are uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you want to see similar videos, click on the links under Check Out These Tutorials by Simon Says It.